This video shows training dogs to work as a team on cattle. We're thankful our first video about breaking rank cattle has over 60,000 views. We wanted to show that Border Collies can work anything, so in that video chose clips with the most conflict. But that's not your objective. Your objective is to be able to work your cows quiet and calmly, which is very achievable. It's easier, of course, with uh, feeder calves or dry cows or replacement heifers than it is with a, a pairs. Pairs are just going to have more conflict, so you want to have a dog that can handle that kind of work. But it also needs to be a dog that can work sheep and goats quietly. At the end of this video, uh, the dogs that you're going to see rougher, there's some rougher clips in here later, and those same dogs are going to gather sheep and goats at a long distance. They can't see us, and we can't see them, and they'll bring them back quietly. The clips we're just looking at now, where we start the dogs on calves, we keep them off and don't let them bite unless there's a knee where the calf's turned on them in the clip just before this, and then we let them bite. Other than that, they just work them quietly. Then we go to some cows with no small calves, maybe older ones. Just do some small gathers, keeping the dogs controlled and focused. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if, by the way, you find yourself looking for a border collie that can work any kind of livestock, give us a holler. Here we've moved up to teaching teamwork on aggressive cows. The dogs do a great job in these clips. Later, as I mentioned, we're going to let you see Jack gather sheep and goats at a long distance, quietly, without any control from the hand. for the dogs to get this bull out of the field up against the fence. It gave him plenty of trouble. He finally decided they weren't going away and decided to load. Alright, this is Jack. We work in state. We work in him on blind outruns. We got some sheep and goats over there. I don't know where. It's a pretty long way. Probably several hundred yards. I might have to give him some corrections to get him to go. Go back. Hey, wait, hey. So it took several corrections. You seen him looking all around. The real confusion was you seen him looking back over there. You can probably pan over there and let him see. We got we got our milk cow and her bull cat and two cats weaning over there. So we saw them. So he was confused. He wasn't going that way. But now this will probably take us a little bit. So uh, maybe I can find something worthwhile to tell you. Uh, Jack's a good gatherer. He tucks them together and keeps them coming. Uh, he's a header and a healer. Uh, sometimes on the cows, if it's really rough going, he'll let out kind of a bark growl when he's biting the head, but he sure enough bites at the same time. And um, and he's got a lot of talent and he's a very biddable stout dog. I, I don't know his age. I think he's under two uh, somewhere in there. I'm not sure. Now when he gets up here, he, he's pretty much a really trained dog. Uh, he's getting to the point where I call finished. Getting finished off where I'm really drilling him on out of balance flanks at a distance and uh, inside out of balance flanks uh, and blind out runs. That's about it. And you could put him anywhere in any situation and do anything. Now he's not going to run them over us. When he gets close and sees us, we kind of train the dogs to stop a little ways back. I may have to tell him, or he probably had not seen us yet. But uh, but they he don't run them over you. They stop so that the, you know, especially with cattle. There you go. And. Uh, that's pretty good. Now let's, let's put him over to the right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There. Lie down. Now, if I was going to drive with him, I would just call his name to move him into the drive mode. Jack. 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 